Coming up on Around Kern County, the holiday season is officially here. We're sharing how November's Grounded in Health campaign is helping you find balance during these busy months. And renovations are underway at Casa Loma Park. We're sharing a look at the investment and what's to come when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're kicking off this week's show with a new transparency resource available to residents. Our county has officially launched a Measure K dashboard, which keeps track of every dollar collected and where it's being spent. Measure K is Kern County's unincorporated public safety, vital services, and local control measure, which was passed by voters last year. Since April, our county has been collecting a one cent sales tax in unincorporated Kern to address community priorities such as public safety and homelessness. Here's a look at how it works. It showcases all of the projects, priorities that have been identified through our community-wide survey and what matters most to the public. You can find it on our website under the transparency button on our Measure K webpage. And there you can see a home page, and the home page is framed by the priorities. From there, you can click on an icon, and the icon opens a priority specific page. On those pages, you're going to see all the projects that are aligned with that priority. And for the projects, when you click on one, you're going to populate project descriptions, county alignment to our strategic plan, budgets, expenditures, and just more detail about the project itself. You can also navigate to page two of the dashboard, which is an overview. And that overview is gonna provide a complete budget, expenditure, and revenue detail. And it also provides a comprehensive list of all projects. To check out this platform, all you need to do is visit our website at kerncounty.com and click on the green circle titled Measure K. If you can believe it, the holiday season is officially here and Public Health and Kern VHRS want to make sure our community remembers to find balance in all of the chaos. While this time of year can be filled with commitments, November's Grounded in Health campaign focuses on staying in check with our bodies and minds. From preparing healthy snacks to eat on the go or completing a few quick exercises while in line at the grocery store, it's important to put our health first so we can give the love and holiday magic to everyone around us. So just taking some time maybe to listen to some favorite songs, things that can be calming or energizing and uplifting. You could also take a minute to do some guided meditation. There are some great apps out there that you can download on your phone to really help you with this practice. Um, and then when you're feeling really overwhelmed, just reach out to a friend or a family member. If you've got that friend that can make you laugh, it's such a great time of year to connect and to kind of de-stress in that way as well. While you're at work, do a walk on your break or on your lunch. Stand up every 30 minutes and just take an extra stretch. While you're on the go, pack some snacks so that you're still eating healthy. You need to be eating healthy every single day and finding balance in that day is super important. But that doesn't mean you can't indulge occasionally in some sweet treats. So don't say no every single time, but make sure that you're not overindulging in those sweet treats. As a reminder, the holiday season can be difficult for many, and Kern BHRS wants to remind residents they are not alone. You can dial 988 to be connected to their 24-7 crisis hotline, where you'll receive compassionate care if you're experiencing a mental health-related crisis. For more information on this month's Grounded in Health campaign, please visit kerngroundedinhealth.com. Kern County is celebrating its year of parks as our organization has made historic investments in upgrading green spaces around our communities. Right now, renovations are underway at Casa Loma Park, located in the 5th District. $2.2 million is going towards state-of-the-art lighting, a new soccer field, walking path, restrooms, and updated play structure, among others. Kern County is improving the quality of life at Casa Loma, at Bell Terrace, because those are family space. This is community space, and it's for all of us. And we know that when we get there and we look at each other, that we know we can lock arms and build a safer, stronger Kern County. And I am 
are so grateful. Come on out and see the changes. The Kern County Board of Supervisors has voted to prioritize parks by investing $43 million in renovations across our county. This week, we're celebrating Veterans Day and honoring the brave men and women who have served our country. Anna Marie Odo has more. Here in Kern County, you don't have to look far to see honoring our veterans is something that spans all year. From the banner hanging in our airport to the signs on the side of our roads, Kern County is truly a place where we honor veterans. Veterans Day really espouses a whole range of emotions uh, for so many veterans. I always say veterans, every veteran's different. They serve during a different time at a different place doing a different thing. Uh, it's not always pleasant, but there's so many mixed emotions because it's a fun time, it's a, it's a hard time sometimes. Uh, we experience loss, happiness. It, it's a little bit of everything, but it's an experience that we'll never get to do again. So it's definitely a, a memorable time. I hope that today not only brings back the memories of, of the hardships, but all the good times, uh, and it makes us all proud to be Americans. We'd like to thank all of our veterans for their outstanding service. And if you're a veteran looking for a second act, we'd love for you to join our workforce. To apply and for all other Veteran Service Department resources, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.